Hello everyone, welcome back to Ben There, Dan That. Let's take a look around this museum piece about the Dark Ages. It's a scene depicting how rubbish man was before they unearthed that Yang What's It. These two look pretty primitive. It's a large sign. There are letters on it. They read the Dark Ages. Thanks for that. Most helpful. Not a problem in the slightest. Any other large signs you want reading? Not in here, no. Well, if you do, just let me know. Will do. A handy guy to have around. <laughs> I get it. Handy. Fuck you. Best of show. Hmm? It's a placard. It has words on it and stuff. It says, Before the Yang was unearthed, man was a pathetic, hopeless, blundering fool. Now we all have superpowers. Everything's completely brilliant. Did you know, for example, that there's a man in France somewhere who can actually turn wasps into cows? The practical applications for such almighty powers are obvious, and as a result, crime throughout the world has risen at its lowest rate since mid-1992. Mankind's future is looking super. What a load of shit. This placard reads, Pre-Yang Man was a joke. He had no special abilities whatsoever, and as such spent his, day, his days working in an office, struggling with even the most basic of tasks. Now we all have superpowers, of course. Our days are spent riding the, ridding the planet of crime or dealing with supervillains like Dr. Destructo Mind. Of course, it is not known where the Yang came from, but scientists theorize the possibility of the existence of a Yin. The natural counterpoint to our Yang, which may well have the destructive capabilities to lay waste to an entire planet. Of course, it's only theory at present, so it's not worth losing sleep over. Especially when we have so many powerful and impressive superheroes around us, around to protect us. You reading stuff out is boring. I'm inclined to agree with you on this one, chum. Oh, shut up, you. Reading stuff out is never boring. This modern looking man is perplexed at how a can opener might work. Look! This display doesn't really make any sense whatsoever. But the can opener sure looks thievable. Hint, hint. Oh, I see. I see. He's saying that I shouldn't take it. I'm totally wearing that outfit for our next adventure. Not if you want it to be our next adventure, you won't. Hmm. The stuffed modern man doesn't really appeal, but the shining object he's holding onto makes a nice trinket for my inventory. Yes, why don't you grab it? Wow, no one even cared, even though this guy's looking right at me. Cool. Perhaps my superpower is actually thieving as well. Just like the guy that ran the gift shop or whatever it was. It's a shovel that unearthed the Yang. The plaque underneath says, before superpowers were widespread, mankind was reliant on primitive cutting tools such as these. Now, of course, we have people like Shovelhead Man to take care of all of our digging needs. He's gotta be in high demand if he does all of the shoveling over the entire planet. Can I take it? I can't see what practical applications this would have. Uh, I'm sorry, a, a shovel? You could take it back to Gilbert and stick it through his face. Put him out of his misery. I think I've seen enough killing for one day. Thanks, buddy. I think you've done enough killing for one day, come to think of it. I can't believe in an adventure game he just said what- he doesn't know what the practical applications for a shovel would be. It's like a freaking adventure game staple. Shovels, scr uh, screwdrivers, wrenches, lockpicks. Hmm, it's a sticky, sloppy clump of mud. Not that I really want to carry it around, but this thing may have some practical application. Like what exactly, MacGyver? I don't know, but I want it. Well, that's likely to be a pressure-sensitive plinth. 
So don't go just stealing it, okay? This place is crawling with superheroes, some of whom might actually be able to foil our getaway. Something I don't really want to risk over a clump of old mud. Okay, okay, I'll think of something. It's one of the trainers worn by the guy that dug up the gang. Looks like a s snazzy looking trainer, huh? Sure does, pal. The plaque underneath it reads, This shoe belonged to a member of the expedition responsible for unearthing the Yang. It is not known how or why it was removed. But it is believed it belonged to the individual who became quite big left foot man. Fascinating. Can I take it? No. I've got a perfectly good pair of shoes already, and come to think of it, this one is outrageously large. Hmm, what does this one say? This placard reads, Pre Yang Man was obsessed with the superhero, idolizing the concept. Of course, we now know that their primitive concepts of what constitutes superpowers was way off the mark. These comic books remain a testament to Pre Yang Man's primitive intellect. Primitive? I think I just got insulted by a plaque. Really? I got told off by a cavity once. That's the worst joke yet. Thanks. I don't even get it. I don't even get the joke. It went sailing far over my head, apparently. Oh yeah, I suppose I could talk to these people, huh? Oh, I can't talk to him? He's been stuffed and mounted. Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 not the display person. This person. Hi there. Um, okay. Whatever. Uh, who are you? I am known as Lightspeed. What's your superpower? Probably to go at Lightspeed. I can run at 10 miles per hour. <laughs> okay. 10 miles per hour. That's it. Hey, how fast can you run, pal? Well, I... I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure 10 miles per hour is a little bit slower than the speed of light. Interesting displays, huh? I know. I can't believe that only a year ago we were opening cans with can openers. And wearing leopard skin tunics by open fires. I think the leopard skin guys are prehistoric cavemen. Uh-huh. What's your sir uh, what's your super name, History Boar? Or the Yawn of Man. Dude, shut up. What's your superpower? Why, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. I assure you my pants are not very fancy. In fact, they're nearly invisible. In fact, someone just a second ago, well, at least in the previous episode, it was a second ago in terms of game time, uh, told me it looks like I wasn't wearing any trousers because my pants are so small. Who are you? I'm the wood handler. I don't even know what that noise is supposed to be. Uh, what's your superpower? I have palms of sandpaper. Oh, it's a gift and a curse. How do you... you know... How do I... what? You know, how do you, um... Without hurting your... self. Huh? Eh? Oh, oh! Self-pleasure! Oh, well... I get through a lot of gloves. <laughs> Have you seen the Yang? Oh yeah, very cool. But I'm more interested in the possible existence of a yin. Scientists reckon it'd destroy the world if it was unearthed. Me, I think it would replace our superpowers with really lame ones. Hmm, that would be terrible. Enjoying those pre-Yang superhero comic books? Well, the superpowers are laughably unrealistic. They're great for fashion tips, though. Stay super! Roger will go, chums.
Hi there. Hi guys. What's your superpower? I can summon ants and bend them to my will. Wicked. So you could command a huge army of ants. Or make a big monster man out of living ants. Whoa there lads, I can only create one at a time, obviously. And it takes about 10 minutes to work up the energy to do even that. Oh. What use is summoning single ants? But who knows, but one day I'm sure it'll all become clear. And Anthony will save the day. What happens to the ants after you've summoned them? I have no idea, I'm afraid. They scurry off, usually under a piece of furniture or a rock or something. And I lose them. For the last year, I've been slowly following where they're going, in ten-minute steps. I followed them this far, in the hopes they'd be gathered around the Yang. Dancing, chanting, worshipping it, or something. So, where are they? No idea, I'm afraid. One just went under the caveman exhibit, and I can't see where he went. I'll try again in ten minutes or so. Okay, uh, summon one for me. Oh, is there an insect-based crime happening nearby? No, I just wanted to see an ant. Hey, do I ask you to hold an unrealistic volume of items in your pockets? Or whatever your power is, just for my own jollies? No, because with great power comes great responsibility. Your superpower is freaking rubbish. Say what you like, friend. One day, in the not-too-distant future, I can guarantee you'll be calling on the services of... Anthony! Bet I probably won't. Well, let's just wait and see, shall we? No, seriously, I can envisage never needing your services. Well, you, you say that now, but I bet one day... Ah, can it, Anthony. So, what's your super name? I'm Anthony. Get it? I'm like honey to ants. Oh, uh oh. I mean, if they were bees, it'd work better, admittedly. Oh, I get it. Very clever. Oh, cool costume. Thanks, I made it myself. Like most superheroes, I got my ideas from the Blue Peter Make Your Own Costume Special. Have you seen the Yang yet? Indeed I have. Fairly impressive security they've got going on there. I did ask if they needed any ants to help protect it. But they say they feel the force field guy is doing a good enough job for now. Shame, really. That Yang could use a few ants around it. I'll say. Bye. Right, so it's protected with a force field, and that's somebody's superpower. I suppose that makes sense, because it seems like there's people that have a superpower for literally everything. I wonder if all of the world's power is supplied by electricity, man. Hmm. And maybe it travels through power line, man. And then goes to outlet, man. You need a lot of outlet, mans, though. Or very long cables to reach the one outlet man. And you need a lot of connections. Hmm. Hey, can I take this pointy thing? I can't pick any of this stuff up, it's all glued down. Shame, really, because you could do some real damage with that spear, couldn't you, killer? Can it, you? Oh, come on, the game's not over yet, I've gotta kill somebody else, right? It's a tough-looking can opener. This baby will most likely cut through anything. Hmm. I wonder if I could use that to get the yin. I mean, I know the lamppost is immune to lava, but perhaps it's not immune to a can opener. I can't believe I just said that sentence. Maybe I can use the can opener to cut the lamppost because the lava didn't work. I... wow. What has this game done to me? Alright, these are a bunch of comic books, right? Yeah, a pile of superhero comics. It's a comic book about a superhero or some such. Looks pretty snazzy. 
I am only stealing museum exhibits I feel could prove useful. Alright, so I can't just steal this one, right? Stealing is bad. Replacing with similar looking items, however, less so. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. I mean, I've got some... piss-soaked loo cakes wrapped up haphazardly in a similarly piss-soaked newspaper. Is, is that a good replacement? I can't switch the mud with those, someone's bound to notice. Okay. I mean, the rock looks like the same general shape, but it's a rock and it's not brown. Uh, oh. Hey, you pulled that old, you pulled the old Indy Jones switcheroo. No fair. You're dressed as Marty McFly. I'm the one wearing the Indy jacket. How would you like it if I started pouring manure all over high school bullies, huh? Deal. I'll get all the whipping and booby traps. You are on horse shit. This is heavy. It's not even the right color, but it somehow worked. Okay, a uh, clump of sloppy mud. What the hell am I gonna do with that? Great, I've, I've achieved mud. Really, what am I gonna do with all this shit? I've got a, a sticky zombie hand. And a clump of mud, and I've got lava and a can opener. What the hell? Alright, let's go see the Yang. Oh, look, the Yang. About fucking time. Right, so I'm guessing you're the shield guy, right? Yeah, he's the shield guy. There's a security camera, and it's looking directly at us. Hmm. I'd better deactivate that thing before I thieve the Yang. As a bradish little kid. Hey, kid. Pedo. No, I'm not a pedo. I just, I just want to talk to you for a minute. Whatever, pedo. Okay. Can he be the next victim of my extreme killing streak? Well, it's not that extreme, really. Well, I did laser to death a dinosaur with a death star. It's by accident, though. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that'll be for the historians to decide. What's your superpower, kiddo? I repeat everything you say. Every kid does that. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. Oh, I get it, you repeat it before I say it. Oh, I get it, you repeat it before I say it. <laughs> oh my god. About your superpowers. About your super- oh god. Uh, how long can you do that for? How long- oh god. Stop doing that. Fuck. All right, let's see if he can repeat this. Let me make sure I pronounce it correctly the first time. <sighs> Hold on, give me a second. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Yes, anti-disestablishmentarianism. Haha, <laughs> stupid kid. Oh, couldn't say it, huh? Haha, <laughs> stupid kid. Oh. Oop, sorry, Dan. <laughs> Damn it. What if I change my mind after you say it? Outwitted you there, haven't I, matey? Outwitted. <laughs> okay. Darn it. Darn it. Son of a bitch. Dan is a bumhead. Dan for the win. Ha, <laughs> you got it wrong. I wasn't using my power that time, I was just insulting you. Oh. Hmm. That's great, kid, but don't get cocky. You can think that shit, Dan, but you sure can't say it. Ooh, clever. I never actually chose this option. Well, hi there, little guy. What's your super name? I'm Darren. Super names are for losers. Okay. Where are your mummy and daddy, little man? Out dogging. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. Um, I'm sorry I asked. I've already done all these. Alright, I've had enough of this. Beat it, kid. Yeah, beat it. It's a little guard man making a small force field using the power of his mind. I'll warrant that's his superpower. You don't say. We're gonna have to take him out if, you, if we want the Yang. Uh-oh, another one bites the dust? Oh, another one bites the dust? No, I don't mean kill him, just incapacitate him somehow. And another one gone, and another one gone. Can it you? <laughs> okay, he appears to be jacked up on... I, I think that's coffee and he keeps plopping, like, sugar cubes in it. It's a small bowl of sugar cubes. Hmm. Hey, force field dude! I'm guessing he's too busy concentrating to talk to us, but uh, who are you? Oh, never mind. Leave me alone, I'm concentrating. Bad name. <laughs> Ooh, is that your force field around the Yang? Of course it is! Now quit bugging me, I'm concentrating. Uh, okay, I can try to annoy him. Alright. Make the force field bigger! Are you kidding? This is giving me piles as it is, now get lost. Hmm, guess you need that coffee to help you concentrate, huh? Nah, go away. I know a song that'll get on your nerves. Get on your nerves, get on your nerves. I know a song that'll get on your nerves. <laughs> is this an actual song? Because if it is, I have no idea what the melody to it is. Nice try. Oh, I'm gonna try all of these. Whoops. 12, 36, 18, 42. That won't put me off, you idiot. I'm not counting. Oh, yeah. Does it annoy you if I do this? I, what the f I don't even know what the hell that noise is. <laughs> uh, well, doesn't. Not enough to stop me concentrating, Pipsqueak. Bugger. Your shoelace is untied. Huh. You only fall for that one once. My shoes are Velcro these days. Clever. Fire! What are you, simple? There's no more fires on Earth, now we have Extinguisher Boy. Damn you, Extinguisher Boy. My new arch nemesis. Plural. Bye then, mister. Bye. 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 Hubba hubba, Dan, check out that smoking hottie right there. Oops, I just clicked out of the game. G growl? Cool yourself. Get off, I saw first. Whatever, Romeo. Oh, yeah, I'm... Yeah, she's probably gonna, like, call a storm upon our faces and uh, turn us into ash. Oops. Well, hello, hello, hello. What have we here, then? Who are you? Hi, I'm... Wait, free... Oh, freeze frame. That took me a second to read that. I'm like, freeze flame? Flame? Freeze flame? Oh, freeze frame. What's your superpower? I can stand completely still for long periods of time. Also, you'll notice I'm almost completely symmetrical. Oh, yeah. Pretty super, huh? Yeah, actually, what the hell? It's almost as if the artists drew one side of you and then just mirrored it on the other side. You here to see the Yang? 
Nah, I'm just here to pick up guys in spandex. Total turn on. I've gotta find, quick, I've gotta find something that has spandex. Uh, wanna go on a date with me? That depends, honey. What's your superpower? <laughs> Having a very large penis. Oh, that's a shame. Another of my powers is having a very small vagina. Sorry. Damn. Well, I'd better go <clears throat> foil a crime or something. Good for you. What's in here? Wait, what? That's where I came from? Wait, what the... I'm confused. What just happened? Hold on. That just ruined my spatial sense. Right, that, that's where I came from. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What? I... Uh-huh? What the fuck is wrong with this place? You keep going to the right and you end up coming out to the left where you originally came into the right. What? I don't understand. Okay, well, anyway, what do you say? Since breaking free of the oppressive shackles of our past, humankind has embraced our new abilities with aplomb. We are better now than at any point in human history. Thanks to the Yang, we are truly evolved. That's why we have a security camera watching it all day long and have employed a man who can create very small force fields around objects using the power of his mind. In case anyone tries to nick it. Relax. With us in charge, your superpowers are quite, quite safe. We'll see about that. Okay. 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 So I got. I got. I need to mess with the sugar cubes. I think. So what do I put into sugar cubes? Lava, dirt. Let's put mud in them. I'm not filling the bowl with mud. Damn it. Uh, put a sticky hand on the camera. It's it's stick all right, but then fall off. Uh, maybe it needs some mud. I don't really want to make them all muddy. Wait, it would just fall off, but it's already sticky. Yeah, it's covered in blue tack. Hmm. Blue cakes. They're kind of cubular, right? Oh my god, I'm actually gonna put those in his... <gasps> Ew! While he's busy concentrating on spitting out Wii, we'll be able to grab that pesky Yang. Can't fail. Oh my god, that's gonna be disgusting. Ew. Oh. Ooh. Blue cakes are poisonous, huh? It would certainly appear so, yes. Let's grab the Yang and get out of here as soon as possible, yeah? I think we'd better. Oh, great. I killed someone else. You're doing pretty well today, aren't you? What is that now? Four poisonings, a bludgeoning, and one death by dehumidification. And a laser through the chest. Oh yes, how could I forget? Quite the score, really, isn't it? Whoopsie. Ending on him? Nope. Right, so the only problem is the camera, right? Or do I even care about it? Let's find out. I'm pretty sure I do care about it. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I could pour lava all over it. No. I could hit it with a crowbar. No. I could throw mud at it. Bingo! Oh boy, oh boy, that's half of our yin-yang. I can almost smell that funny carpet stain in our hallway. Does this mean one half of us can go home now? That is to say, me? That's not how abstract icons come alien dorkies work, my traitorous pal. You'll just have to follow me around in a haphazard fashion for a while longer. Okay. 
Well, I think, I'm honestly thinking that this can opener actually might take down the lamppost, which means I might be able to get the inn. And since it's faster to go to the right than back to the left because it magically teleports me back anyway, I guess I'll just go to the right. And back up to cows as we go. Now, which one went into space? I think it's easy to tell because it's the one that has space behind the door, right? Yeah. Okay. Come on, can opener. Don't let me down, don't let me down, don't let me down. Come on, come on. <gasps> Oh yeah. I can't reach it? Okay, so I can get closer, but I'm not close enough, huh? Alright, so I'm not quite there. Okay. Is this where the hand comes in <sighs> useful? What if I put it on the end of this scroll bar? Apparently not. I can't just throw the hand of the yin. Well, shit. Um, don't really have much here to use. <sighs> I feel like I might have missed an object somewhere that I need. I think the sticky hand is what I need to get it, but I think I need to attach it to something. Like perhaps a rope or a string or something? But I don't have that. Hmm. I don't see anything here that could do it. The crowbar won't reach that far. Hmm. I'm not shifting that lamppost. Seems like I've constructed myself a neato looking walkway, though. Yeah, I'm missing an object. Pretty sure, anyway. And I have no idea what it could be. I'm trying to think of strings or any long poles that I've seen. And I can't think of any. I can't think of a single thing. Walk through time! Aha, I knew it. I'm missing a rope. And it's apparently back in the Ice Age room. Ah, there it is. Yep, that just fits right in my shirt. It's a piece of core that has been frozen solid. In its current state, it's pretty much entirely useless. Yep, and apparently you need to take it to the lava room to thaw it. Although I wonder if you could thaw it by using the lava that I've gathered on it. The lava's really hot. It'll thaw the rope all right, but then burn right through it. Oh no, don't do it. Don't worry, I won't. Ah, oh, phew, time's like a million. And... Ew. What's up, good buddy? I, I think I just wet myself. What? It's weird, I don't remember any wee coming out. But I've... Definitely got a wet patch in my trousers. Oh no, it's okay, it's just that useless frozen bit of rope I stole. It seems to have melted into a perfectly usable bit of rope. Good news for all of us then. Oh, 
Okay, now we can combine that with the sticky hand. Whoops. There we go. And bingo. Bonzo! I knew a zombie hand, a thought out length of cord, and some blue tack would come in useful at some point. Funny how you always instinctively know which items are worth picking up. And which only deserve a paltry observation. Well, I've got more adventuring experience than you, matey. All those days puzzling about in the jungle, while you were dead, trained my mind to a higher standard than yours. Gee, I wish you'd died. So you can get some adventuring experience, right? Uh, right, right. <laughs> soon enough, friend. Soon enough. Combine these. As I fit these two wildly different guys together, they become more than the sum of their parts. Remind you of anyone, old buddy? Uh, Tango and Cash? <sighs> Shut up, you Yang. It's time for the final door. Here it is. Back to our shitty apartment. Well, here we are. Another ridiculous charade comes to an end. You know? All in all, I've rather enjoyed this experience. Weird though it was. Agreed, good chum. Come on, let's go home. Where the hell did all our stuff go? Someone's thieved our sofa. Relax, boys, your sofa is quite safe. You'll find we've made one or two changes around here, actually. Wait a minute. You two are the aliens. What? Oh, the uniform. <laughs> well, who the hell are you two supposed to be? What? We're you two, obviously. Oh, Ben, don't be so rash. You couldn't work out who we were back when we were them, do you remember? I suppose. We are you two. We're from the future. Well, what the hell are you doing here? Should you be wherever it is we'll be when we become you? We popped back. You see, boys, we've wasted our lives. We spent the whole damn lot of it playing video games and making endless Star Wars jokes. We got to see our autumn years and realized we'd squandered our youth. So we went back in time to take your places. We couldn't just kill you, we'd be killing ourselves. So we had to keep you busy while we put our master plan into action. You've been running around a warehouse downtown dressed to look like a futuristic alien. Spacecraft the entire time. A warehouse? You guys don't have a real spaceship? And just because we've got teleportation and pan-dimensional wormhole technology in the future doesn't mean we all drive around in flying saucers. This isn't Star Trek, Benjamin. So, while you jump through hoops, we made some changes. Six billion people on the planet. And every man, woman, and child amongst them is now a citizen in your glorious dictatorship. You turned the world into some sort of fascist state? With you, or us, as its totalitarian leaders. All this in a matter of hours. You see what you could accomplish if you put your minds to it? But... Why? 
Fame. Swimming pools full of money to dive into. Don't you see? When we get back to our own time, we will have become gods. And we can live out the rest of our natural lives in unparalleled luxury. But surely you two now operate on a redundant timeline. What? Well, if we're going to become you, where are you going to go? There can't be two future versions of us in the future. Ah. Yes. Good point. Didn't think that one through, really. We don't technically exist anymore. Brilliant. What did you say you got in GCSE physics? D minus. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, okay then. Uh, speech time? And we went on to rule the entire of Earth. The entire of Earth. That is the best sentence I have ever spoken. The entire of Earth. Indeed. <sighs> Alright, well there we go. I really enjoyed this game. You know, it uh, it's obviously a parody of... Or at least it parodies adventure games. In a lot of ways. And how ridiculous their... Their puzzle design tends to be. And <laughs> the really ironic thing is... Is that the puzzle design in this game that parodies how terrible puzzles are in a lot of adventure games actually has better puzzle designs than a hell of a lot of adventure games. It's incredibly ironic. It's actually really impressive, too. Let's see if there's a scene after the credits. <laughs> the lift music. I remember the lift music. Special thanks to George Lucas. Uh, what? Yeah, it's just, it's really good. I mean, there's a little bit of sort of, I guess you'd call it having your cake and eating it too, in the sense of parroting adventure game puzzles, but at the same time having some of the same problems, like the rope that's really hard to see and, all, you know, it's really hard to tell that I can actually interact with it. So I had to use a walkthrough a couple times, but in general, the puzzle design is actually quite good. And, oh, the game just closed. Goodbye, game. Awkward. And it's also just really damn funny. Which is probably the main draw of it. I mean, I certainly didn't play it for the puzzles. I played it just because it's really fun. Yeah, it's well written. It's ridiculous. It's funny. It's just a good time. I enjoyed it. And there is a sequel to be played. Which I will certainly be playing soon. So, thank you for coming along with me. Through Ben There, Dan That. And I hope you enjoyed.